Hey, what's going on, Juan here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual private network using WireGuard on Android. And I'm also going to show you how to configure a mobile device and a computer to connect to the WireGuard VPN. So, let's get started. So, what is a VPN? A VPN, or Virtual Private Network, allows devices to connect securely through the internet to another network. It creates an encrypted tunnel where you can safely transmit sensitive data, preventing people from eavesdropping on your traffic. When a device connects to a VPN via the internet, the device will look like it's connected locally to the VPN's network, utilizing the network public IP address. Now, WireGuard is a fast, modern, open-source VPN protocol that aims to outperform other VPNs. It utilizes a state-of-the-art cryptography and is very easy to configure. It's also under heavy development and it might be considered the most secure, fast and simple solution for a VPN. Home internet service usually has a dynamic IP address, meaning that the public IP address changes over time. Because of that, you need to set up a dynamic DNS service before setting a wireguard. DuckDNS is a free DDNS service that you can use. With DuckDNS, you can create a subdomain that will point to your public IP address and it will automatically update the IP address when it changes. All right, to set up DuckDNS on Andre, go to the Apps tab, search for the DuckDNS Docker container, and click on the Install button. A configuration page comes up where you will need to enter the DuckDNS subdomain and also the DuckDNS token number. So on another tab, go to DuckDNS.org and sign in using one of the available methods. After you sign in, create a new subdomain. Go back to OnRaid and under Subdomains, enter the new subdomain that you created. Then under Token, enter the DuckDNS token number and click on Apply. After the installation completes, click on Done, search for the WireGuard plugin and install it. Then to configure the VPN, go to the Settings tab and click on VPN Manager. Set up the local name for the VPN, then for the local private key and the local public key, click on Generate Key Pair. The local endpoint will automatically have your public IP address. However, change it to point to the DuckDNS subdomain that you created. So enter the DuckDNS URL and then click on Apply. The next thing to do is to configure a port forwarding rule to forward traffic to the WireGuard port, which is 51820. So open your router settings and locate the port forwarding settings. Create a new rule and set the port to 51820, the forward IP to the on rate IP address, the forwarding port to 51820, and set the protocol to UDP. Save the new rule, and depending on the router that you have, you might need to reboot to apply the changes. Now that you have the WireGuard client configured on OnRaid, you can set up the devices that you want to connect to the VPN. So click on Add Peer, set up a name for the new peer, then for the peer type of access, there are several options that you can select. However, when connecting to the VPN from a public connection, you want to route all traffic through the VPN securely. So select the option Remote Tunnel Access. For the peer private key and the peer public key, click on Generate Key Pair. Then click on Generate Key for the peer pre-shared key. And click on Apply to save the new peer. On the right side of the peer, there is an eye icon. If you click on it, it will provide you with the peer's configuration so you can set it up on a device. If you click on it, it will provide you with the peer's configuration so you can set it up on the device that you would like to connect to the VPN. To set it up on a mobile device, download the WireGuard app from the App Store. Open the app and then click on the plus icon to add a new tunnel. Tap the option Scan from QR Code and scan the QR code shown on the WireGuard client on Andre. Set up a name for the VPN and then tap Create Tunnel. And that's about it. Disconnect from your Wi-Fi and turn on the VPN and check if the device gets the same public IP address from your home network. To set up another device to connect to the VPN, for example, a Windows or a Mac computer, create a new peer. After that, click on the config icon on the right side and then click on the download button to download the configuration. Then go to the WireGuard website and download the WireGuard app. The app for both Windows and Mac is the same, so you can follow along for either operating system. After installing the WireGuard app, open it and click on Add Tunnel on the bottom left. 
then select the peer configuration file downloaded from the WireGuard client. And that's it. You can then click on the activate button when connecting elsewhere and it will connect securely to your WireGuard VPN. All right, so we configure WireGuard on OnRaid and set up peers to connect to the VPN. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.